Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio, Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a drawing animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and first off we're going to bring a new fusion composition here in our timeline and now we can move over to fusion. Let's start by having here a background in our working area, linking it to the media out and here bringing the alpha channel down to zero to set our canvas. Now to do this effect, we're gonna need to have something to draw. So we're gonna need to have a PNG file that we can mask. So I've downloaded some PNG on flaticone.com that we're gonna draw. Once you've selected what you wanna draw, you can just take it and drag it here in the working area. Me, I'm gonna draw an arrow and another canvas. I'm going to take the output of the media in and link it to the background and we're going to do the same thing here with media 2. We're going to link it to the merge 2. Then I'm going to select my media in 1. It shifts based on the keyboard. Search for transform and here we're just going to bring a transform node so we can move it around. Here I'm just going to adjust the angle to point at the other thing that we're going to be drawing. All right, so now let's start by animating the arrow. So I'm going to select the media in one. It shifts space on the keyboard, and then I'm going to search for mask. We're going to bring a mask paint node. Now, as soon as I bring it in, as you can see, the arrow just disappeared because we haven't drawn a mask yet. To bring it back, we're going to go over to mask and here invert so we can actually see the arrow and draw above it. Right now I'm in a brush mode, but I want to switch for polyline stroke because I'm going to have more control and be able to just add more points. So here I'm going to just draw above the arrow by adding a first point, And then we're just going to continue like this and cover the entire arrow. Now I've drawn above my arrow. I can just untick invert and here going back to control. And now we're going to be able to finesse the mask of the arrow. So I'm going to just click on my working area just to remove the line so we can just see only the mask. And here, as you can see, if I'm playing around with the size, it's actually the size of the mask. So here we're just going to increase the size until we fill up completely the arrow. So in that case, that's just going to be going to the maximum. And depending on what you're drawing, you can play also around with the softness. Then we can go down to stroke control and here we're basically going to make our animation on the right on. So if I decrease or increase the right on, as you can see, it's just starting to draw the arrow. So right now I'm just going to make a quick animation, go at frame 20, drop a keyframe on the right on at 1 and then going to the first frame and decreasing the right on down to 0. And now if we play it, as you can see, we got the drawing going on. Now, what if you have a bigger picture that cannot be drawn line by line like this one? You can do something like those explainer video that you might have seen on YouTube, where you're basically gonna zig and zag with your mask to just simulate uh, some drawing like coloring. So I'm gonna select my second image, it shifts space on my keyboard, search for mask and just bring that in. Same thing, we're gonna go to the mask, click invert so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna select our polyline stroke and here we're just gonna start drawing in zig and zag. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna just start drawing my point. So depending if you want the drawing to be quick or to take more time, you're gonna want to have them tight or just more separated. So this one, I'm just gonna do it fairly tight, I think, but if you want it to happen quicker, you can just separate uh, the point a bit more. All right, so now we've drawn all over our image. We can just go back to mask and here and tick invert. And as you can see, our line are masking the image. We can go back to control. And now we're gonna make the adjustment here in size. So we're gonna increase the size until we cover up the entire image. In that case, as you can see, we stuck at the maximum. So you can just change the number. Here, we're just gonna change it for one. And then I'm just gonna decrease until it's done like that. I think it's fine. Now we're going to do the right on animation. So I'm going to go at frame 14 when my arrow is almost done. Bring the right on down to zero. Drop a keyframe. Then go to frame 34. And here we're just going to bring the right on back to one. And now if we play it, as you can see, we've animated the arrow and now we've animated this image as well. Again, you can play around with the softness here if you want to have a border that is solid or if you want to have a border that is soft. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.